Headless Adaptive Forms is a win-win for your organization because it empowers your developers internally and delights your customers externally. One, you're empowering your developers by giving them the choice to create forms native to the channel it's hosted on so that it fits in and looks like the rest of the web application or the single page application versus being delivered as it is in a prescriptive HTML form from the server. And second, you're meeting the user where they are. You are now able to deliver the form to every channel in a format that suits the channel and delights the end user. Let's see it in action. In this demo, we're gonna start with this headless form. This is basically a React app that is again a weekend signup form, but it's more of an experience versus a form since it's natively built for the channel. The customer, Aya, can now walk through a guided experience that is more blended with the rest of the website. She begins by entering her address and other credentials. The next screen is where she's able to decide on the form whether she has an interest in nature or in city and is presented on different activities based on her choice, offering a guided and personalized experience. However, she gets busy and doesn't submit the form and actually abandons. She began her journey on this web app, a single page application on the web, and even thought it was a guided and engaging experience. However, she got distracted and abandoned. Using other Adobe DX Experience Cloud products, Aya was retargeted and returned to the form, but now accessing a different channel. In this case, the same form is presented on WhatsApp, but it's now natively rendered by the channel, WhatsApp. Aya accesses the form and is able to resume right from where she left off, even from a totally different channel, saving her time and effort. She picks her interest, nature versus city, and again is presented with different options. She picks an activity and is later asked for her mobile number. She enters her phone number, but because of the enforced form field rules, part of Adobe Experience Manager forms, she's now presented with a message that the mobile number format submitted was not valid, ensuring that all collected data is valid and correct. She enters it again and agrees to the terms and conditions. She then submits the form, having experienced an easy, guided experience in a conversational way that met her at her preferred channel and at her time. This exemplifies a single source of truth, where you only create the form once, but have it delivered and rendered in different ways and across different channels like we saw today. Again, giving the power to the developer to choose a channel and presentation of the form while providing the end user an intuitive and guided experience on their own terms.